Baby, are you almost ready for the party yet? <sighs> Still a few more minutes? Okay. Why the rush? Well, it's for my family, so I want to make sure they have a good impression of you, since this is the first time you guys are meeting. It's important. I don't want them to think of you as the person who made me late to my own family's party. That would kind of suck. <laughs> what are you even going as? Are you going to tell me yet? Alright, fine. Keep it a surprise. I'm excited to see it. Even though it's not that big a deal, but... Hmm? No, I didn't say anything. I'm just standing over here, waiting patiently, minding my own business. Oh, you're done already? Finally. <laughs> Close my eyes? Okay. And open. Oh. Well, aren't you beautiful? Uh, you would certainly make a better Wonder Woman than she did in that movie. Just saying. <laughs> well, why don't you come over here? Because you're doing wonders to me. And maybe we'll do even more wonderful things tonight, hmm? stay here and stare at you all night, but I promise family. Thank you. Ladies first, so I can watch that butt go through the door. <laughs> hey, it's mine. I can stare at it all I want. Make sure your cape doesn't get caught in the door. At least they don't live too far away. Not a very far drive. Hmm? What are they like? Well... Um... They can be a little awkward sometimes, I will say that. But they are very nice people. And I think you guys will get along just great. What do I mean by odd and awkward? Um, they're interested by very different things, I think, than most people are. And you'll just you'll just have to see, okay? <laughs> Still. You get along with everybody, so I think it'll be okay. And they're very excited to meet you. I may have told them quite a lot about you already, so. Oh, stop. There's no pressure on you. Just be yourself. And that's it. It'll be okay. Anyways, looks like we are here. Why don't you come here real quick and give me one more kiss before we go in. It's Halloween, I can ask for as many kisses as I want. Okay, so it was three, Sumi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ah, Derek, Lilith, it's so good to see you guys again. Meet my beautiful significant other. And just remember that they're mine, and I'd rather not share. 
<laughs> it's really is good to see you guys. Ah, oh, welcome home, little brother. And you, you are much prettier than Leon said you would be. I'm Lilith, and it's wonderful to finally meet you in the flesh. Can I get you anything to drink? Wine? Red or white? All right, white it is. Hello, Leon. And pretty person. I'm Derek. It is nice to meet you. And it's always so good to see you again, Derek. He's pretty shy and awkward. Um, so kind of a little slack for me, love. Oh, man. Oh. You know what we forgot, babe? Neither of us grabbed the Halloween cookies we made. We made them just for tonight, too, and totally left them behind. I'm gonna go run home and grab them real quick. No, it's okay, you stay right here. I'm sure my brother and sister will take good care of you. And don't worry, I know they're on the kitchen counter. I'll be back in just a few, okay? Alright. You guys take care of her. So, so, uh, um, uh. Uh, I, uh... I'm back. So, one glass of white wine for you, and one glass of red juice for me. <laughs> so tell me, what is this uh, costume you're wearing? It's a lady called... Zero two. Zero who? I have never heard of such a thing. Uh, whatever. Won't you do a little spin so I can see the whole thing? Oh dear, oh dear. Derek, go fetch a towel. You stay right there. No, don't touch the glass. It could cut. Here's the top. Is that smell what I think it is? Mm -hmm. Your blood smells so deliciously fresh. Won't you let me see the... Hey, babe, I brought the... Ah, oh, damn it. Come here, now. No, don't take it from us. We just want to taste. Please. Only a taste. We beg you. We're leaving. Come with me, now. Leon! Are you okay? I, uh, yeah, I might have some explaining to do. Um, uh, we're a family of vampires. Yeah, I know, I know. You're not going to believe it, and I didn't expect you to, which is why I never told you, or anybody for that matter. I moved out, wanting to be a normal human, thinking I could live a normal life, meet a normal person, and have a normal family, but I, I don't know. I guess that was all a pipe dream, huh? No, I haven't sucked the blood of anybody in a very long time. My family 
has occasionally given in, but they honestly do their best not to. So, I realize that their sacrifice does not mean much to you, but it means so much to me. I would be so devastated if this one night ruined what we had between us. And what was that? Show you my fangs? Uh, alright. Uh, yeah. They aren't fake. You're welcome to check for yourself, but... I've tried time and time again to break them off. And hope that I could be a human. But they always come back. You've always wondered... What it would be like to be bit? Um... I'm not sure I'd be willing to do that. I'm drooling. So, um... I still really want blood. I really, really crave it. Are you sure you'd be okay with it? Are you absolutely sure without a shadow of a doubt you would be okay? With me just taking one bite. It's been a long time. And I don't know how much I will take. Because I am very thirsty. <sighs> Alright. Just don't let me overdo it. If it's too much, tell me to stop. I refuse to lose anybody to my feeding. Lift your hair up on your neck. It might hurt a little bit at first, but it shouldn't be too bad, okay? And close your eyes. enjoyed that audio. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, as it helps me a lot, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of my future videos. I also have a Twitter and a Patreon for those really spicy audios that you might be looking for. Thanks for listening. <laughs>
and I hope to see you again real soon.